Hey everybody, Chris Sev with Sourcecraft here, and today I am very excited to announce something that the team has been working on for a while now. Cody for JetBrains is now generally available. That's right, we've hit GA in Cody for JetBrains, so that means lots of good new features, a little bit more robustness in the features that you already see in the plugin. Let's dive in to see what's new. So at a high level overview, we have new commands, we have inline edits, we have hot swappable LLMs, multi-repo context search, and multi-line autocomplete gets some fun new keyboard shortcuts to help you navigate those autocompletes. So let's take a look. In this file, I have a repo selector React component. And the first feature that I want to look at is if I highlight some of this and I go over to Cody, you can see that we have the LLM dropdown here. So I'm working with Claude3 Opus in this example, but you can also use Haiku, you can use GPT-4.0, which is incredibly fast and powerful. You can use Mixtral and uh, even Claude 2.0. But Claude 3.0 Opus is fantastic. You can take a look, change out the LLM, and see what works best for your coding style and environment. So we have chat here, as you'd expect, but Cody has now broken out of chat and now has the ability to edit your code using commands. So if I close Cody here, I can highlight this code, I can right click, go down to Cody, and you'll see that these are commands that I can edit code, I can document the code, I can generate unit tests. There's even explain code, find code smells, or you can see the commands if I open up the panel again and click on the commands tab here. You can see the edit commands and the chat commands. And the big ones that we wanna talk about today are edit, document, and generate unit tests. So I'm just gonna go over here, click on this function for the React component I'm working in, and I'll click document code. And just like that, inline, you don't have to like go to chat, copy from chat, paste in your code. You can see that Cody was able to just add the documentation here, add the uh, prop types for the params and the returns, and that looks fantastic. The next command I wanna talk about is the edit command. Very powerful, can work in many different scenarios, and I think it'll really improve your productivity and flow when you're writing your code. Since you're not jumping between your code to chat, back to your code, you're just editing in line. And let me show you how that works. I'm going to highlight all this here. I'm gonna right click this, go down to Cody, click edit code, and now we get this nice popover. So what we can do here is we can move this around if it's in front of our code and in the way. We can increase the size of it so we can get a little more room to write our prompt and maybe we wanna add context, tag a couple different files. What I'll say here is add TypeScript types to this React components props. And I'll click edit code here. And this is great because edit code works in line. Cody is just editing the code and we stay in the flow. So check that out. It was able to add repos, set repos is multiple as Boolean, all optional down here. So that's a great way to use the edit code command and just get things done pretty quickly using Cody. So now that we've used the document command, we've used the edit command. The next command I really wanna look at, which is a fantastic one. If I open up Cody here, we have commands, generate unit tests. And this is something that is really helpful that Cody can do for us because generating unit tests is a tedious process. So all I have to do here is just click this button. Cody will take a look at what I'm using to do testing here and it'll go ahead and write it. So I have testing library. It's gonna pull in the repo selector, which is the component that we were just using and it should render the component. It'll write all these test cases for us. Should open the popover, close the popover. So that looks fantastic. So that creates a brand new file in your repo, repo selector.test.tsx. And those are the three big commands that I wanted to talk about, edit, document, and generate unit tests. The next feature I wanna talk about is for our enterprise users. If you open up Cody here, you can see I have enhanced context one repository down at the bottom here. And we're looking at one repo. So the feature I wanna talk about is multi-repo context. You can add multiple repositories, search for context across all of them, and then pass along that prompt with the context to Cody. So I'll go add repositories here. I'll add the source graph slash Cody repo. 
and I'll add the source graph slash about repo, which is our marketing website. And then if I click out of there, you'll notice you can use all three repos. You can uncheck, use the exact repos that you want. And we're supporting up to 10 repositories right now. And I'll say, how can I add links to the comparison pages in uh, source graph about? And Cody was able to look at context, 412 lines from 20 files, source graph slash about, pulled in the blog posts that we're looking at that I pretty much wanted to see. So that's fantastic. And all right, so it's bringing in, it's telling us where the URLs live, slash compare, slash compare continue versus Cody. And it's basically saying, oh, these are the other places where they live. So it was able to pull context from a different repo and answer my question. Also for pro and enterprise users, we have GPT-4.0 support. We also have expanded context windows. And overall, this is a GA release. So we're looking at stability and performance improvements across the board. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and definitely check out Cody for JetBrains. And if you want to read more, there's the full blog post and I'll put a link down to that below.